know, this wall will come down. Uh, I know, you know, all these walls will come down. A brand new CrossFit gym is making its way to Wilmington's east side, thanks to the nonprofit Green Beret Project and local entrepreneur Ajit George. We are standing in this room, in the conference room. You came through here. This is where the CrossFit gym is. George is the founder of Second Chances Farm, Wilmington's first ever indoor vertical farm, now located at 3030 Bower Street in the city's Riverside community. Set to be up and running by next spring, George's farm will train and employ 30 citizens returning from incarceration to grow up to 350,000 plants in any given week and harvest an estimated 4 million plants a year. So this is all the state of the art. You just go ahead and touch your head and they will be surprised. See how cool it is? While George and his team have been working towards their 2020 launch goals inside the 47,500 square foot opportunity center, a chance meeting with Adam Kramer, state director of the Green Beret Project, provided the final piece to the puzzle of lowering recidivism in Wilmington. He invited me down to the warehouse to show me the space, and he said, I will, you know, lease you this space for a dollar a year. I said, what's the catch? He said, well, I would like you to coach up the ex-offenders that I vet and hire. And then in the other times in the gym, you can run Green Beret Project and serve the surrounding community, which would mainly be Eastside Charter, um, Kingswood, and the Riverside community, and boys that will be released from Ferris and the cottages that I coach. I sold drugs all through high school. I played football, I played baseball, I wrestled, and I was on my way to a scholarship, and drugs took me somewhere else. Kramer spent seven years in federal and state prison. Since his release in 2014, he has dedicated his life to lowering Wilmington's harrowing recidivism rate through CrossFit. Four or five years ago, when, when I was released, I saw the need for re-entry for juveniles. I knew that CrossFit was helping me as, you know, my overall quality of life, helping me deal with stress and, and just eating well and having other coaches coach me up and just having that outlet for an hour a day, five times a week was helping me. So CrossFit's always just had a foundation in my life and I've seen it help others. Kramer says a number of coaches from CrossFit gyms in and around the city of Wilmington will be helping to instruct at the new gym in Agit's farm facility. He aims to utilize that 1,689 square feet to not only impact the lives of the youth coming to work out through the Green Beret project, but the lives of residents of Wilmington's east side as a whole. Yeah, so I feel it's just very important for CrossFit to be open to everybody. Uh, there's not a lot of people in this community, in this uh, economic background, that can afford going to a local CrossFit gym. So being able to just open the door to the local community and having you know, CrossFit really pumped into some of these young kids, I feel is going to help them be more successful in life. By having a CrossFit gym, in our facility, uh, we are able to offer at no cost uh, an opportunity during company time, the chance for our employees uh, who work with us, our returning citizens, to go and actually work out and get a personal training. And it's no cost. We want to give them an employee benefit as if they're working for a major company because gyms are associated, high-end gyms, uh, particularly CrossFit is associated with high-end places and we want our returning citizens to feel valued. Adam adds, it enables our returning citizens to lower their stress levels, make better decisions, provide them a positive community and a much needed sense of belonging. We need more people like Agit. As a city, you know, there's two of the zip codes in our city have the most returning citizens and the highest recidivism rates. And the only way we're gonna stop that is by not sending them back to jail over and over and over again, but, it, but instead create avenues as Agit is, creating this avenue of work. And then for him to be able to see, you know, extracurricular activities after work is crucial. And if, and if the next offender has a chance and he really bites and, and takes into CrossFit, 
I feel like his chances of recidivating are become much less. Hope is the belief in the plausibility of the possible as opposed to the resignation to the problem. Remember that. Well, our success rate is not just making money, but it's the number of people that don't go back to prison is how I will feel, whether we made a success and impact on society. Reporting from Wilmington's Riverside, I'm Michaela Austin, 22 News.